Dear viewers, thank you for staying with us. We've been on a short break, now we are back. If you have just, just joined us, a very big welcome. The topic for discussion is a trip down memory lane. Uh, and my guest uh, tonight at the studio are, if I could call it, old veterans uh, that have provided the service and have been with the community ever since the community struggle started from 1970 onwards. Just before uh, we went on break, I was talking to uh, Akik Bai. Now I'm going to go to Jalal Bai. Jalal Bai, despite your involvement in the community, the struggle, the anti-racist struggle, the fight against uh, the racist thugs in Brick Lane, the battle for Brick Lane, uh, you getting into mainstream political uh, uh, party, becoming councillors, becoming uh, deputy leaders, becoming mayors, deputy mayors, uh, even representation at the House of Lords. Why did your generation fail to produce an MP at the time? Uh, first of all, a group of conspirators within the Labour Party, it's not the party at large, decided that Bengali advancement should not be allowed in politics. As far as they were concerned, Bengalis should be limited to becoming councillors and no more. So our campaign uh, to <coughs> ensure that at least one uh, amongst us became a member of parliament was not successful because the conspirators were working with the party policemen who were based in the regional offices of the party and ensured that the Bengali uh, nominations were not successful. So when the nominations were made following the resignation <coughs> of uh, late Peter Shore Peter MP, Shore. Uh -huh. they ensured that the people who had significant support in the community and amongst the membership were not nominated. Mm. And anybody who was nominated did not command sufficient support either within the community or within the membership. Mm -hmm. And so it was a divide and rule situation. You were, you were one of those people who was on that list. Yes. Correct? Uh, yes. And then I was taken out of the list. Yeah. Right. Why? Uh, this is because the conspirators did not want me to become the, me the member of parliament. Let me ask the same question to Alawai. Alawai, mm. do you agree with that? I, indeed I do. And if you remember, you along with Jalal and other, we went to then Labour Party office somewhere in South London and protested, you know, what yes. Labour Party was doing against yes. our, you know, would be MPs. Okay, so that against this background, I recall in 1992, Jalal and Phil Maxwell and few other people, the first time they went for challenge. Okay, Peter Shur was at that point of time, he was sitting MP, but he's, he's seeking re-selection. So that, is, that was an abortive attempt from Jalal part and other parts. But gradually by 1997, we had well prepared that now we can have, you know, MP from our generation. And that's exactly what happened, Jalal has described. Now, was there a gentleman agreement before Peter Shaw retired that once he retires, the seat would be passed on to a Bengali candidate? A lot of people talked about that, but uh, we have seen no evidence of that. Mm. And the other thing is that nobody uh, hands power over to you on a plate. No, of course not. You yes. have got to fight for power. Yes, through the system. Uh, yes. Through the system. Yes. But there was an active group of conspirators who it. wanted to ensure that okay. uh, somebody from our generation did not become a member of parliament. Yes. Yeah. And then they parachuted in Una King, uh, who had <coughs> no connection with the community. But how did George Galloway come about? Uh, the failure of the conspirators yeah. to respond to the aspiration of the Bengali community to elect their own MP right. meant that following on from the war on Iraq, yes. hmm. people who are so fed up with the Labour Party and with, uh, with, with Tony Blair, uh, hmm. with Tony Blair yeah. uh, they decided to support George Galloway right. as the local MP here. No, but that was a mistake. Uh, and then <laughs> following on from there, uh, uh, Lutfu Rahman suffered injustice in well, the hands of the party officials. Well, after George Galloway, it was a Bengali woman, it was Rushnara, that became yes. an MP in Tower Hamlets. She was supported by all sections of the community to ensure that somebody from our community yeah. became the local member of parliament. Yeah. I was one of the supporters. Yeah. I know there are other people, prominent people in the community, yeah. including Lutfu Rahman himself, okay. supported her. Right, okay. Now, Lutfu Rahman became a directly elected mayor back in 2010 10. 10. 10. 
and obviously we know the shenanigan that went with it afterwards yeah. uh, so that clearly goes on to show that uh, as you've quite probably uh, other than sorry can we just take a call we're gonna call on the line hello caller assalamu alaikum Hello, Assalamu alaikum, by the Ross by Amisho Fikul Banditia, Potome, Amar, Senior, Dara Boata, so in Baboshea, and Ami, Soda, and I, Duazanai, Amda to Portomane, MPO Filici, British Parliament, Amare Air Radio, Presenter Hoysil, the Tumdar Kunu Dola, Sinama, Itabuza to Saisil, Amuligan Kunu Officer Sini, Babi, and Pirkunu Officer Sini, Ami Ohan Kuitam Tara, Amar, Senior de Askir Nustano, the Amda Bangale, British Parliament. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, as you were saying. Yeah. So, uh, where were we? You were Lutro Man. Lutro Man, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, Lutro Man uh, was from our next generation. Okay. And he was successful in creating momentum behind him. Yes. He was widely supported yes. within the within They the call party. him the disgraceful mayor. Why is that? I, the media and the establishment Have uh, wanted to ensure that this Bengali independent mayor was not successful. Right. Uh, the Panorama program against him was a disgrace. It was a work of fiction. No, I, 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 I dispute but that. But <laughs> Lufuroma <laughs> did not do himself any favors either. He okay. created monsters that he could not control. control so right. that is rather unfortunate. Mm. But, but why is it that popular people who had the right to seek uh, the parliamentary position, mm. uh, seek the position of a GLA member or become uh, an Euro MP and later on become a mayor, why should they, should they be placed in such a position uh, by, by a handful of conspirators? And of course, are you way, referring I want to, say to those conspirators from the Labour Party or from uh, all other political parties? Uh, uh, only the Labour Party was receptive to the Bengali community because mm. they were forced to understand that uh, Bengalis are going to be here in the community for a long time to come, and so they could not ignore them. Other political parties were not really interested because the Tories did not really ha have a footing in Tower Hamlets, and the Lib Dems unfortunately had elements within them who were racist as well. Yeah. That's why they were defeated. Yes. Uh, but, but by the way, I want to clarify one point, and that is, I personally believe in collective leadership and responsibility. Yeah. I did not support the executive uh, membership Me that was established in Tower Hamlets. Mm. Okay. I think that was a bad idea, <coughs> and as a result of that, power has been concentrated in one into the hands. hands of one person. And I think if we are going to have better politics, if we are going to have accountable and de democratic politics mm. in Tower Hamlets and Newham, mm. then what we need to do is revert to the old system, system. of leadership, uh, leadership wh which means that you have a leader mm. who is elected by the elected councillors. Because at the moment, the councillors do not have any power. What's they the depend on patronage yes. and return for that obediency. Mm. And that is not good for democracy. Thank you. Alaba, do you agree with that? We need to go back to the old leadership style of yeah, I, I mean managing the council? I just want to add one or two sentences what Jalal has said. Why did, why did you not uh, succeed producing a member of parliament from our generation? Yeah. And I think it would have been so good to have somebody you know, become member of parliament because this person would have seen our problems very differently. Yeah. So we have three MPs now, one from, from here. Well, are, are you saying that the three Bengali women MPs that we've got at the moment well, you see, are, there, there are, is another are, issue now. Are, are probably not representing. Perhaps they are representing even better. But what I am what I am saying here yeah. that people like people who are here and people who are outside here yeah. who have exp who have a first hand knowledge, insight, experience about their community and how they have you know uh, suffered over. Do the they year. come from the grassroots of politics? The three MPs. I don't think so. About. But there is another thing, uh, right. and I think I want to say this very loudly yeah. that under gender representation, I do not see that there will be any male MP from Bengali community. In not just Bengali community, probably is going to happen also from other Asian community. You see, at the moment, we have three Bengali MPs. Yeah. Three are women. Yeah. But there isn't a man. Right. Why? Why is so that? the Labour Party is using this gender representation. Yeah. So they have to give 50% So do you think they are using this gender representation to undermine 
male I, candidate from Bangladeshi community? To an extent, yes, to an extent that's exactly what has happened. Why have a three Bengali MP and not a single Bengali man MP? Can, 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 I, can I interject one important yeah. point? Sure, please. sure. Because I think uh, our discussion has to go beyond the past. Yes. And so here we are in 2019 still talking about parliamentary representation. But at the same time, what we are witnessing is that uh, uh, MPs from other communities have become ministers. Yes. And it is uh, a fact that well, for tokenistic reason, even a racist MP like from a migrant community has become a prime minister now. <laughs> yes. Well, well, okay, you're yeah. talking about you're talking about Boris, uh, Johnson. Boris Johnson. Absolutely. But Boris Johnson is covering up his racism. Yeah, uh, yeah. By appointing a Hindu nationalist, yeah. Priti Patel, yeah. and uh, uh, Sabed uh, Javed. Yeah. Yet, all the policies that he has been preaching for the last five years that extreme I have, right, I have watched him hmm. is extreme right wing, Islamophobic, hmm. yeah. racist. Okay. And, 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 that, and that's, wh that's where we are. Mm. So yeah. as far as I'm concerned, uh, talking about MPs and parliamentary re representation is in the past. Yeah. The future is about political advancements for the Bengali community. Mm. So do you think that our young people that are representing us now in, 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 in politics are able to represent the community's aspiration. Can I say this? Are they yes. carrying us forward or are they taking us two steps uh, backward? Can I, can I, uh, Akik Bhai, do you respect, yes. you'll come. Yes. It's, uh, it's a burning issue. Yes, go on. And uh, I'm directly involved uh, here in Tower Hamlet politics. Okay. And we have a overwhelming majority of Muslim Bengali MP. Yeah. And just look what happened. The, the local council did not allow an event that would have benefited Palestinian children. Yes. There are 23 Bengali Muslim MP. They did. They did not object. You've been counselling. Yeah, counselor. that is in the count. That is yeah. that is uh, in, in 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 national newspaper Guardian. Yeah. Now, why exactly? Jalal has pointed out that you know, mayor. They all are following mayor, and what mayor says that that, that is what they have to accept. Otherwise, the, he will lift their you know what is it the remuneration. Okay, so we have you see my generation and we had a number of uh, okay. councillors yeah. and i believe that we have effectively represented <coughs> you know which is aspiration problems of our <coughs> we are directly connected with our community mm. people who are now on the council 23 yeah. or 24 bengali muslim councillor mm. i don't think they represent any one of us mm. i mean police brutality we did not see anyone talking well about i mean it. recently we've seen what's happening in abifeldi with yeah. Yunis bantahar Yunis bantahar bantahar yeah. Uh, we've seen police brutality. Yeah. I've invited and them to come to my show. You see, you know, no, I, I attacked them exactly. at the yeah, public you meeting. Yes, I, remember. I invited them to come to my show. They gave me promise that they would come. And on the day, they said someone had cancelled them from coming to the show because they believed the show was not going ahead. And when I challenged them, they said it was a mistake. So you where you do we you go? Re you are reminding me. In fact, yeah. you know, previously another two shows when you invited few councillors and That's they did right. not come, right. including right. our friend Chulumia. Do you think the younger generation is representing our wishes? Afno mo nakore ni amra bortoban elected representatives are asking amra community that amra community's aspiration jeta ase ita thara delivery to farin ni. Do they understand us? That's a problem. We have a generation gap. Acha acha. Very normal. Amra bachain yes, amar mo jodi present their family very well, but at the same time community issue thoy jona ase. How many of them mm -hmm. are in this community work? Then why are they in politics? Okay. So mm -hmm. the people are there representing us in that uh, council. I seen most of them. Mm. They don't even speak good English. Karan, amra community shomosha jagula asil akik ba igula ekhon uroise. Ekhon dekho ka beshi ekhon. Amra stop and search hoy de amra young manusho ko jara ase thara thara criminal record there. Bibinno khetre we are still behind. Jodiu economically we are doing well in some sector, but in other sector we are still very much behind. Kintu amra education rodi ki agbai rasi, criminal rodi ki both side ho. Just stop and search. Aske khoto na stepping or. Yeah. Tower amra to criminal jodi tumi mo mistake kulo dao gya dekhwa hai. At least seventy percent case amra community. Yes. Yera kintu ta community life to ase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, after the fact that we have been politically elected with the mainstream party, we have been able to community the community and the aspiration of the Our generation was not 
<laughs> educated like the younger generation. Right. Okay. But right. our generation understood politics. Uh, uh, knew how to they are campaign committed. for hmm. equality, freedom, and justice. justice. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Our generation was not conformist. <laughs> our generation wanted to achieve a better life for all sections of our communities. communities. Right. And unfortunately, I think there is a generation gap, which mm. means that nowadays uh, people are more interested in their own achievements, yeah. own rewards, <coughs> own benefits. Mm. Mm -hmm. The collective thinking and the family and kin kinship that you witnessed in the East End of London, mm -hmm. not only in our community, mm -hmm. but the wider communities, mm -hmm. is fast disappearing and that is sad for us mm -hmm. so what do you think is the way forward as your final comment the way forward is that I think <coughs> uh, we are going to be the custodians of the local community in the future because of the uh, demographic changes <coughs> and we have a younger population and we have got to uh, become active in campaigning for rights and entitled entitlements of the community at large uh, we need to look beyond our personal gains and interests uh, and that applies in all sectors of uh, the community housing social services public services economy education mm -hmm. politics mm -hmm. and i hope that we we can once again create that collective sense of community that campaign for the benefit of all. So how do we go on about <coughs> telling our elected representatives that this is what we want and do you think that they would listen to the community at large? I hope that they will learn through uh, the process of uh, being engaged and one important factor that was uh, supporting us during our time as activists was the uh, vibrant voluntary sector. Mm. because voluntary sector had resources that was given by the local council and the GLC and, the, and, and, and various departments of the government. Mm -hmm. Those resources are not available anymore. Right. And also, although <coughs> too much resources can, can spoil you, but we want limited resources mm -hmm. to ensure that there is a thriving third sector that is supporting our new generation of political activists from the young communities. Thank you very much. Uh, Alabai, uh, what is your thought on this? Well, you see, we have to go back to the community. You see, people like me and many other who became councillor or political representative, they came from a hard campaigning background. They of didn't course. understand. You became councillors because yeah. there were voluntary sector organizations there that was being funded yes. by the mainstream. Yeah. Hence, you were able to campaign with the yeah. community yeah. and knew exactly what the community wanted. So, not just me. People who of became course, elected, yes. they all came from campaigning background, whether it's a housing, social service, education, you name it. At the moment, we have been at least five, we have five women councillors. None of them have come from campaigning background. And we, of course, we have uh, another, you know, 18 or 19, uh, you know, male councillor, Bengali councillor. Now, these people, they have taken the advantage of the party machinery. Okay, they simply they are they speak perhaps much better English than Jalal or my English. Okay, and of course, I mean, I would say they are they are so subservient. They have just given themselves to to their white masters. Okay, now. I would not have compromised this. My community come first. The fact that I was member of the Labour Party because I want to represent the wishes of my community. Sure. That was my motto. And so that was the motto of the collective community of Bang Bengali in so our hamlet. What is now, the way forward? The way forward is, no, the way forward is, is, is Doros, that we have to go back to the community. And that is right. community will decide, you okay. know, on my record, where I stand. Okay. These people that take advantage from the party missionary, no, 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 it's not good enough. People are going to boot for you. What have you done for this community? You prove yourself first, and then of course we shall support you. That is the way for otherwise we'll have so many, you know, what you, what you call it, uh, dalal. Okay, we don't want any more dalal, we want more jalal. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Akik bhai, our final comment. Oh, the way forward, our kita mana khore namda. Kila groceryo ilam na community needs and aspiration jeta asam na delivery tampar. I'm really worried because amra je, khui tamu amra je generation je ship meta si dita hoy to agam hoy ten years se bitra amra thawar amra jathan nae. আজকে বাংলা টাউন আমরা নাম রয়েছে একমাত্র বাংলা টাউন বাঙালি কোনটা নাই অস্তিত্ব নাই যে ব্রিকলেন লইয়া আমরা এত গৌরব করতাম আজকে ব্রিকলেন কই গেলে সন্ধ্যাবাদে একটা বাঙালি হইতাই নাই রেস্টুরেন্ট আমরা করিয়া দিচ্ছি একে অন্য টানা টানি করিয়া রেস্টুরেন্টের ব্যবস্থা আমরা খাই দিয়েছি এরপরে এখন টাওয়ার হামলে তো টেন ইয়ার্সের মাঝে কতজন বাঙালি রোড এটার একটা সমস্যা আছে আজকে দেখা যায় যারা বাচ্চা দিকে কেন লেখাপড়া করছে বাজ করছে ভালো চাকরি ধরে তারপর দিয়ে পড়ে যায় কারণ দে ক্যান গিভ বেটার এডুকেশন টু দেয়ার চিলড্রেন 
তারা কিন্তু হরিজার আমরা টাওয়ার আমলেটে যে বর্তমানে যারা আসন পলিটিক্স আগু কইম না লায়ার দেন আমি তারা ওঠো কইম যেন বাই দেখো এটা আমরা একটা ঐতিহ্য আমরা এটা দড়িয়ে রাখতে হইলে আমরা টাওয়ার আমলেটা থাকাটা উচিত আমরা রেসিডেন্ট করাই কেন উচিত আমরা কিন্তু খালি ফরিয়া গেলে এখানে অবস্থাটা বালা করা দরকার এখানে এডুকেশন সিস্টেমটা বালা করা দরকার এখানে ভলেন্টিয়ার সেক্টরটা বালা করা দরকার আজকে এগুলো আমরা একটা জয়া যায় আর Now it's a different issue, Akibai. I mean, people want to leave Tower Hamlet, that's, that's their choice. If they have a means and ability, by all means, they can go. But no. people who are here, you know, people are who, are, who are here, they must make sure that they, they select a candidate, they select candidates that will represent them effectively, their problem, no. their way of life, their, you know, no, wishes no, and no, so on. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, 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 ঐতিহাসিক জিনিস যদি নষ্ট হইতে দেখা যায় তো দুঃখ আইব টাওয়ার আমরা যদি আমরা গৌরব করি টাওয়ার আমরা আইডেন্টি আমরা বাংলাটা আমরা আইডেন্টি আজকে যদি এগুলো থাকে না আর আমার মনে হয় না টেন ইয়ার্স মাঝে এগুলো থাকবো যে উগোতে যাব কারণ যে এখন বাঙালি এলাকা থাকতো না জুইশোর আজকে কোনো নাম রয়েছে কোনো এই এলাকার জুইশোর সব তা চেঞ্জ হয়ে গেছে জুইশোর নামে বহুতটা আছে এই এলাকার আজকে <laughs> Please keep watching community issues. We'll be back again in two weeks' time. Until then, keep well and keep safe. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.